Hey guys, this is Stephanie with more Lice Advice. Today I'm going to show you how to do a head check on your child. If you're worried about them having lice or if you should just really be doing this preventatively all throughout the school year to make sure that they are clear and you don't need to, you know, either treat them or get them professional services. The first thing I want to point out is that if you're the mom or the dad or the babysitter or the teacher and you're doing a head check on someone, you should always have your hair pulled back. The most common and easiest way to contract head lice is by hair to hair contact. So if I'm getting too close to her and my hair's down, that's enough contact for lice to transfer from her head to my head. Usually when people come into their clinic and a child has head lice, the mom almost always also has head lice. So this is Jenna, my daughter. Hi, Jenna. Hi. Okay. So first, what you want to do is make sure there are no tangles in the hair because it would be a lot easier with no knots and then your child will complain less. So I'm just gonna quickly detangle her and then I'm gonna make sure I can pull a rat tail comb also through her hair so it's just a finer implement to make sure there's no smaller knots that I need to get out as well. And then I'm gonna start with a visual head check. You should have a paper towel handy and a spray bottle of water. I'm going to wet her head down a little bit, but first I'm going to conduct the visual check because what I'm looking for are either nits or bugs. And if I see something right away, I don't need to proceed into nit combing so because I know now I need to treat. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm either looking for the presence of actual bugs or lice eggs. And we have other videos on our channel that will show you more in detail what lice eggs look like because hopefully I'm not actually going to find any in her head but you never know. So I would split the hair and part it right in the center. And you know, if she has a lot of bugs, I'd see some activity going on here, but in this case she doesn't. So I'm kind of just gonna go around her head, parting in about two inch sections. I'm looking for anything that's out of the ordinary. Everyone has certain stuff and gunk in their hair. Um, but if she has something that I'm concerned about, like this guy right here, I'm just gonna try and tap it or fleck it, flip it away with my comb. If it flips away easily, it's either dandruff or dry scalp or glitter or sand or all sorts of things are in people's hair. You would be amazed. So I'm just gonna keep going around. I'm gonna spend a little extra time looking at the hot spots. Hot spots are areas where lice love to lay their eggs because they're the warmest spots of your head. And those hot spots are behind the ears, the nape of the neck, And I'm just looking for little eggs uh, and or anything that might be running around. I don't see anything back there. So I would just continue this process of breaking the hair down and checking both down here and also on the underside. Lice are gonna lay their eggs within a quarter of an inch of the scalp. This is the warmest spot on your head. So uh, you're going to really be incubating these eggs. Lice eggs cannot hatch at room temperature. So this is why the lice have to lay them so close to your scalp. So I'm just using the edge of my rat tail comb. I'm parting in, you know, one to two inch sections. You need to have good light. So if you can, you should set yourself up outside in, actual, you know, natural light. And that would help you. I don't see anything in my visual. I'm not going to spend too much time doing this. Um, if you don't see any eggs or any lice, what you need to also do is a good nick combing. There is no, oops, there is no substitution for the actual combing process. So when I get to combing, I actually want to wet her hair down a little bit. The standard, the gold standard for nick combing is combing wet, not dry. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water in her hair. If your kid's hair is very long and knotted, you can try some uh, water and conditioner mixture. And it's a really good idea to occupy your child. This is the time to let them use their device. Let them watch the show. And getting her hair a little bit wet, I'm gonna start knit combing. You wanna use a good knit comb, something that is metal, not plastic. Um, it should have tines that are really nice and close together and you should be able to see through those so that you can see if there is or is not anything in the comb. Okay. 
And then I'm going to use my paper towel to wipe my knit comb on so that I can see any evidence and actually, you know, look at it under maybe a magnifying glass or something so I can see re really what's coming out of her hair. I would start right here in the front of her head. When I come in with the knit comb, I'm going to come in at the angle of her hair, but I really need to scrape her scalp and she should definitely feel me on her head. I'm going to overlap my knit comb and keep going around her head. This is just called a perimeter perimeter sweep and I'm going to do this all the way until I get to the halfway point which is right about here. I'm looking at my comb but I don't need to wipe my comb unless I see a bug or something that's concerning. If I see a bug right away I want to stop and not reinsert that comb into her hair because I can reinsert the bug into her hair. If I pull out a knit it's not so such a big deal. The knit cannot reattach. It has no mechanism for reattaching. The lice actually secrete a glue when they're laying those eggs and they glue the eggs onto your hair shaft. That's why they're so firmly rooted into your hair. Okay, so I've done the whole perimeter sweep. I also wanna make sure I thoroughly comb through the end of her ponytail. I'm gonna wipe my knit comb. And if there was anything on here that was black and round and it looked like a little tadpole with an egg, uh, I would be concerned uh, if there's any little bugs on here. I would definitely be concerned. And again, there's links to other video tutorials that will show you more about what eggs actually look like when you're pulling them off. So if I didn't find anything on that perimeter sweep, I would just now go around her head in subsectioning and making two inches, two inch parts. And I want to comb down. I want to comb backward. I want to comb up and I want to comb forward. The knit can be on any side of the hair shaft, so it's important not to just comb one way because you will not be successful in uncovering knits if you're just combing one way. And I would keep doing this around the entire top section of her head. Again, I'm looking at my comb, but unless I see something stuck in there, I'm not gonna stop because it'll take a really long time to get through this. Make sure you come all the way out. If there's a knot, work on that knot. Maybe go back to your rat tail comb to remove the knot because I can pull eggs all the way down and not pull them fully out if I have knots in the hair. And I don't really wanna do that because I wanna see what I'm dealing with, if she actually has lice or not. So I'm just gonna continue parting and combing. I would do this all the way around the hair, line. And I would go both over toward this one ear and comb. And then I would pull it back. And then I'm, I'm abridging this, obviously, so you can see an entire head check. But I might be a little more thorough in the sections. Okay. Once I'm done with the whole front of her head, if I don't find anything, I'm going to start checking the back of her head. So first, I kind of want to just make sure she doesn't have any knots again, because I've put a few in there. And when she's not free, we're hoping she's also going to be knit free. My jokes are good. So now I'm just going to do the same thing, breaking down into these little sections. My parts aren't perfect, but they're good enough so that I have a straight line and I can get the comb in starting at the hairline. I need to start this comb at the scalp, not down here, because if I start even a half an inch into the hairline, I'm kind of missing any new knits that were laid. Again, knits are going to be laid within a quarter of an inch of the hair and I'm looking for a new infestation. I'm looking for something that's going on right now, not if you know we had lice three months ago and we still have a few empty shells, those would be further down the hair shaft, but I'm looking for something that might be new. So I wanna comb in a few different directions. And I would complete this process of combing the back all the way until I get back up to the crown, which I know I've already done several times when we went around the head, okay? And if I still find nothing, I would also have her do one final step, which is, heaven forbid, put your phone down. 
and your goldfish and put your hands on the handrail, flip your head forward. And what I wanna do here is comb the back side of her hair because sometimes it can be really hard to get this section without poking her in the head um, or in the neck. And this is a great way to comb out all those hot spots at one time. So I'm hitting behind the ears, the nape of the neck, and the crown of the head, all from the underside, which is a much better angle than I had before. Flip your head back. There you go. Again, I will wipe my comb. And for the most part, I'm just finding hair. So if there were nits or eggs, they would be visible. And anything else that's related to, you know, normal skin conditions like dry scalp or dandruff, that's mainly going to dissipate on your paper towel. What you'll be left with when you spray a white paper towel is just the evidence that you have of lice. Um, and also dirt can be also on there. You'll see black dots of dirt. But if it's, if it's dandruff or dry scalp, it's just going to dissipate when it hits that paper towel. So this is a really good way to check for lice. And if your child has lice, we are, we are also going to do some more videos on how to treat them for lice. If you're not going to go the professional route, um, you can try and treat at home. Okay, so thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel. If you like what you've seen, leave any comments requesting more information, and I'll try to put as much free video content on what to do if your child gets lice as I can. Thanks.